Controversy in Canada. An Ontario court ruling that Jordan Peterson can be forced to attend social media training demanded by the Ontario College of Psychologists over his past post criticizing gender ideology and climate change. So if he refuses to comply, he loses his license to practice clinical psychology. But Jordan Peterson says his fight is not over. And joining us right now from Ontario, Jordan Peterson. Jordan. Uh, they say you want to keep your license, you got to do it, but you say you're not going to do it. How's this going to end? No, I didn't say I wouldn't do it. Um, I did say that I don't believe that it'll help. Okay. I'm, they are, I'm in their hands at the moment, fundamentally, because they've already sentenced me, so to speak, to an indefinite period of social media retraining with some social media expert, whatever the hell that is. And so I'm obliged to undertake that training at my own expense for an indefinite period of time until they, in their wisdom, presume that I've learned whatever it is that I'm supposed to learn, mm -hmm. which, given my nature, stri strikes me as highly unlikely. Jordan, what's the goal here? I mean, are they trying to... The goal is to take my license. Yeah. Yeah, but are they trying to send a larger message, not to you, but your followers as well? No, they're trying to send a larger message to me, my followers, and every professional of any sort in a regulated profession in Canada. And the message is, you do exactly what the low-level, mid-wit bureaucrats tell you, or you will lose your livelihood. That's mm. the message. Do and it's crystal clear. Dr. Peterson, I mean, does everyone who needs to continue their license have to do this or are they just cherry picking you and why do you say it's indefinitely you have to continue to take these courses until they decide you've learned your lesson yes that's part and parcel of the whole deal yes yes and no i wouldn't say they're precisely cherry picking me i i suppose in a sense they are because i'm the most well-known voice among professionals who dissent from the whatever ideology I'm supposed to be following, I dissent from that most egregiously, let's say. And so they're definitely making an example of me. And mm. it's quite an effective example in some ways because I have the time and resources to fight this battle and I'm not dependent on my license for my financial stability and, mm. and the support of my family. It's an extraordinarily expensive and time-consuming battle. and. It's definitely the case that the goal is to take my license because right. what they'll claim after dragging me through whatever this re-education is going to be that, you know, I can't be taught, right. that I'm ungovernable. That'll be the final. is a disgrace to his profession and he's ungovernable. Well, uh, when it all resolves itself, we'd love to have you back. Is this but similar to what's happening here in America? They're doing this with Republicans, Donald Trump. Well, it's similar to, I would say, cancel culture in general, and, and it's similar to all the attempts to stop people who have an alternative viewpoint, which wouldn't have been alternative at all, like 10 years ago, right. from expressing themselves by any means possible for the good of the of humanity and the planet. So, so Jordan, yeah, it's part of a much broader pattern. Yeah, so we heard about the, the new online college that you guys and, and your academy that you plan on launching. Tell us about the work yeah. you and your daughter plan on launching. Well, I've thought for a long time that the university systems, the systems of higher education in the West in general, are corrupt beyond redemption and also extraordinarily expensive and time consuming. And I've wanted to do something about that for many, many years. And we put together um, an online university project. We have about 30 professors, and they're very, very good professors. I've been privileged to meet some of the most intelligent and informed people in the world. We have brought them down to Miami and filmed them um, producing eight-hour lectures, which are very, very well produced and, and accompanied by appropriate illustrations, and we'll launch that we're going to soft launch that at the end of February to a limited number of initial subscribers. And we hope to knock the cost of a general education, general course of higher education 
of, of, in, of various lengths. We're mm -hmm. going to offer one year, two year, three year, and four year certificates. We hope to drop the price by 95%. And to provide the participants, the students, with a high quality social, uh, high quality social opportunities as right. well, because we know that university is in part a social enterprise as well as an educational enterprise. We'll have the best courses there are, taught by the best professors there are. And it'll be very inexpensive, widely available, yeah. translated into multiple languages eventually. Um, and th that's the plan, to put out some competition for the, for the increasingly idiot universities. And you can see what they're like merely by contemplating what happened in Washington, D.C., when the presidents of MIT, Harvard, and UPenn made an absolute shambles of themselves and their institutions. And right. if you think that that was just a consequence of them and not indication of the un unbelievable deep rot, well, you're, you're blind because the universities are very corrupt. Well, uh, thank you, Jordan Peterson, for joining us from Canada, talking about the new, uh, essentially, the new college is starting online at the end of the month. Once again, if people yep. want more information, it's petersonacademy.com. Doctor, thank you very much Thanks, for making Jordan. a house thank you. call. Hey, good to see you guys. Thanks for the invitation. You You're bet. welcome. Good luck. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.